Imperial Armour is proud to announce that we are launching two firefighting suits, firstly being the Wildland Fire Suit and secondly the Structural Fire Suit, which is often referred to as the Bunker Suit. A majority of Wildland suits consist of only one layer, whereas our suits consist of two layers, thus giving an extra layer of protection. The outer shell consists of inherent fire retardant fabric, whereas the second layer is a thermal barrier. The firefighters require a thermal barrier to prevent from overheating and also possible heart failure. Within the Wildland suit, we have introduced an underarm gusset, which ensures uninhibited arm and shoulder movement. It also prevents the body of the jacket from lifting. Imperial Armour has also introduced the 360 degrees visibility. Imperial Armour found that there was a need for high quality fire turnout suits. In response, we have introduced the structural fire turnout suit. The three layer firefighting structural suit consists of Nomax, the moisture barrier and the thermal barrier. As you will see on the video, here is a control burning which has been very kindly donated to us by DuPont. You will see a difference of how these two suits are reacting. The suit on the left is 100% cotton, whereas the suit on the right is made from Nomax. After the controlled burn, you will notice that the Nomax suit self-extinguished, while the cotton material continued to burn. The features of the structural firefighting suit are as follows. The drag rescue device is a first in South Africa. When a fireman becomes immobilized, he can be rescued by using the drag rescue device. A thumb strap is provided to keep the sleeve straight. The throat flap is easy to close and when not in use can be retained at the side. The knee pad has been extended to ensure there is free movement of the knee. The knee pads and the elbows have been reinforced with a product called Arashield. The high style suspenders are adjustable. Imperial Armour, as a one-stop company, can also provide firefighting helmets, balaclavas, firefighting gloves, boots and axes. has exported to 70 countries and this is why we are world leader in body armor and now we'll include our fire fighting range <laughs> 